fact, I'm Rodney Cummings. I'm the Madison County Prosecutor. I'm running for circuit court judge. I think that there are going to be a number of independents and Republicans that vote uh, in the Republican primary. I think the more people that vote favor me because I clearly have the most name recognition maybe of any candidate in Madison County. I mean, I'm, I've been on the ticket a long time. I, I hold a high profile office and you can tell from just being here when people come in, they recognize my name and that, that can only be a positive. Mr. Cummins has a whole lot more name recognition than I do. And so how do you go about combating that or getting the, that to even out is, well, it's the simple stuff in a local election. It's signs, it's direct mail, I knocked on uh, about 1,500 doors, not myself personally, but me and everyone else that's involved, uh, calling people on the phone. And so that's how I tried to get my name out as best I could so that the voters could have at least an informed choice when it came time till today. I believe a judge needs to have some understanding of what regular people go through there in, the, in their life. You have to be able to distinguish you know, who you need to get tough with and who's deserving of a break, and I don't think anybody in the 30 plus years that I've been involved in law enforcement, both as the elected prosecutor, a deputy prosecutor, a police detective, and a police officer, no one else has that kind of experience. What is it that makes a court run well? How is it that you're gonna make a court run well? How is justice gonna be served, both in the criminal and the civil context? That's what voters are looking for, is an efficient, well-run court, and then ask me specifically, how are you gonna do that? It just feels good, and I think I've, I've got the broad support of the Republican Party, which is very helpful. I have 12 elected office holders who've endorsed me and the 5th District Republican Chairman. I mean, that's pretty strong support among the Republican establishment. I also think I'm gonna do well with the independents and some of the Democrats that cross over, so I feel confident but you know you can never be too confident because you don't know until the votes are cast so it's there's always anxiety associated with that and you know you it's no one wants to be rejected no one wants to be rejected I was a lawyer before I became judge it's much like a trial you put on everything that you want to put on you put on your best face for the jury the other side does the exact same thing and then you sit there and you wait you've done your job the jury's off deliberating that's the equivalent. They're off voting today. They're deliberating. And so I'm just waiting for that verdict, which I've done through my professional career, and I'm kind of used to it.